Warning, this video features one or more ships that are primarily acquired through gambling mechanics. The chance of winning such ships is very low, and there's no guarantee that you will win regardless of how many times you gamble. If you think you might have a problem with gambling addiction, please stop the video and seek help immediately. Greetings everyone and welcome back to another Starship Review. Today we're going to take a look at the Voth Rampart Command Flight Deck Carrier. Originally a lockbox ship, it was recently added to the new MUD bundle. This is an excellent ship, even if it does look like a Star Destroyer. A full command seat gives you access to Suppression Barrage 3, which can be paired with its high hull modifier and attract fire for an excellent tank setup. Or you can use Call Emergency Artillery, Concentrate Firepower, and Mixed Armament Synergies on the Universal Lieutenant seat for a very potent kinetic platform. You'll struggle to get more than four control abilities on it, but it's also hard to see what you'd give up to make more room. Either way, it's a happy problem because you have the ability to slot so many things you want, but ultimately you still have to choose. The console layout isn't the best, and while it's only a 4-4, that's just fine for both torp boats and tanks, which is probably what you should use it for, and not really a downside for any build that would best take advantage of what this ship has to offer. The trait, Voth Carrier Synergies, gives you 10% incoming hole healing for 15 seconds and immunity shielding to pets for 15 seconds when using an engineering bridge officer ability, as well as a 10% Cat 1 all damage boost for yourself and gives your pets Aceton mode for 15 seconds. If you don't know what Aceton mode is, it's a radiation AoE ability that is part of the console clicky for the Voth science vessels. The ability refreshes, but it doesn't restack. So although it's a neat trait, if you're going for an off-meta pet build, it's not strong enough to make the cut otherwise. The console enhanced reflective shield amplifier gives you shield power and hole capacity. The clicky gives you the player version of that annoying Voth immunity shield. It makes you immune for 20 seconds or until you've taken 250,000 damage or, you know, like one high yield EBM torpedo and also cuts your damage in half and gives you huge maneuverability debuffs. It's also restricted to Voth vessels. You have to think of it as a clicky that gives you a huge amount of temporary hit points that also has downsides, and frankly, I can't see a reason to use this. The Rampart also comes with Voth heavy fighters that launch two per bay like the Delta Flyers. They have anti-proton weapons, including a torpedo. They get emergency power to shields, emergency power to weapons, and beam overload. There really isn't any reason to use these outside of roleplay, but then again, what other reason do you need? Unique hangar pets are definitely a plus in my book. In many ways, the Rampart is comparable to the Styx, a ship which has garnered a lot more attention. They're both premium 4-4 cruiser variants with full command seating that are excellent as both tanks and kinetic platforms. If you own one, then you probably don't need the other. I'd have to give the edge to the Styx though, but it's a small advantage. In terms of ratings, it gets 5 stars for meta. I don't think I have to elaborate more on that. In terms of ship score, I also give it 5 stars. The unique hangar pets and the console that let you mimic the NPC vessels gives it a lot of flavor. It's technically a flight deck carrier, so the carrier focused trait is also thematic. In terms of accessories, I'm sadly giving it just one star. The pets and console are locked down to the Voth ships and aren't very good anyway. The trait is fun for carrier shenanigans, but ultimately weak in the grand scheme of things. If the trait stacked so you could get more than 10% Cat 1 damage, it would have done much better. Immunity for hangar pets is great, but it's hardly a game changer. And that's my review for the Voth Rampart. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.